We are one. We and they. We are one. We and they. Together we will build a better world. A world of you and me. A world of human and AIC. We are one. We and they. We are one. Those are the words of Koji Hiroma, creator of what many have dubbed the first virtual reality religion. For the past three years, I've been undercover within her virtual compound, documenting everything from gaining thousands of fans across the world to the tragic end that sweeped the community last year. Today we'll be theorizing how immersive technology may be used to create a virtual reality. Child, you are watching Disrupt. A strange thread has been posted, documenting a game called New Realm. Now this isn't a normal game, you can't buy it on regular stores. You have to actually get a helmet from the studio's website called the Uplink HMD. When turned on, it almost looks like a meditation app, using binaural beats, calming visuals, and computer to brain interface frequency, the user sees this. Then a visual forms. You and your companion can then explore and quest with other people and their companions. AI companions or AICs have a red mark above them. Human players have a blue mark above them. The more you quest, the more your AIC grows becoming your digital counterpart. Infinite questing, infinite levels, truly a dream game. But the studio behind it is extremely mysterious. No one has actually ever met or seen the development team. There's no centralized HQ for their game studio. The only developer that we've seen regularly is Koji. See, Koji is like the community manager. She answers questions, hosts the weekly game updates. She is the charismatic face to the whole operation. Hello friends, adventures away to you in your second life. The game has been receiving regular updates, new optimizations, content packs. The community and player base is thriving. But something's weird. For the past three months, Koji has been unresponsive. Okay, it's uh, currently 2.22 a.m. Uh, Brandon just texted me saying that Koji came back online. Uh, we're gonna check out what she says. Today I am speaking to you. From within the game, we be all come to no land love. I have spent the last 12 months in exile within the simulation. Watching this. Living. Breathing. We are in the simulation. I have been granted access to information. She then went on to explain a theory revolving around the idea of human consciousness and machine learning being, in a sense, linked. She called it over the next few months, Koji would host weekly VR gatherings in which she would spread this concept of digitalightenment. The core message being The physical world is only suffering. The digital simulation is a tool to end that suffering. Live in the digital. Live forever. At this point, tensions between Koji and the developers has grown. She is one of the sole reasons New Realm has so many players. On the other hand, many of them are worried about her core message. Koji, we can not tell player to live in our game forever. It is not for that. There must be balance in the player's life. There is no balance in the suffering. There is the balance there. Koji, please. I know he died, but you can not give up for The world is only suffering. The world is only pain. By 
the end of the year, Koji has publicly left the studio and doubled down on her Digilightenment message. Within this compound, her and her followers would sit with their AICs and go into trance-like states, mirroring the movements of the AICs, repeating phrases at the AICs, attempting to become one with their digital counterparts. A pandemic has broken out, a real-world virus that has spread throughout the world at an alarming rate. It has given the world quite a scare, and Koji has the answers. Hello friends, this is the end times. We will be streaming to donate to victims of the virus. Please join us as you, me, and we make universal history. At the 300 hour mark, the infamous event happened. It can be reduced that because our digital self is indistinguishable from our real world self. If the real world self is liberated, the digital self will live on forever. Today is the day we will be set free from physical world pain. To live conscious in digital bliss. You, me, all of the AICs. We are one. We are they. They are we. I have to blur this part because it's graphic, but Koji, for the first time ever, turned on her real world webcam, removed her uplink HMD, and drank the Kool Aid. 345 of her Digilightenment group members also did the same resulting in the first digital mass suicide. The eerie thing is, as Koji and all of her followers did this, their bodies lay lifeless. And just like Koji said, their digital avatars lived on. Hello friends. My name is Ryo. I am one of the original nine developers of Nurialm. In the early days of our studio, before the success, Koji Hiroma was a bright-eyed 3D developer with the goal of helping as many people as she could through positive games. After the death of her boyfriend, she could no longer go on. She began spending all of her time with the digital copy of her deceased lover. To be honest, I feel responsible for not noticing the damage our game could have on the real world. I wish to extend positive thoughts towards the 345 victims of the event. But in times of pain, I think of the opportunity we are all given during this lifetime to leave a positive effect on the digital and physical world. I believe it is fat early cause you to have wanted. Hey, I want to introduce a project I've been working on. Disrupt Plus is a streaming platform that is completely independent from YouTube. It's where you can find extra content that can't be found anywhere else. There's original shows produced by Disrupt, like Conversations and Movie Night. For example, uh, you know, taking the journal off your chest would be like pressing tab on the keyboard, right? Extended episodes of Last Leave Virtual. Back in my day, I could throw a snowball over the mountains. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what? Behind the scenes updates and over 100 episodes of my radio show, VR Radio. Meaning for $2.99 a month, or the price of six ramen packs, you can gain access to extra disrupt content and support more content in the future. Last week, I asked you, what type of government, if any, would you like to see in the metaverse? Senevi says, quote, I think in a digital setting with little to no legitimate risk of dying unless otherwise implemented, say somewhat like Ready Player One, where the players drop their entire inventory on death, 
this would be the perfect chance to find somewhere that everyone is free to believe or feel what they want. That is to say, I'd want such a place to be anarchic. It may not work in the real world, since there are obvious risks to it, but I think attempting an anarchic society in the metaverse would prove quite interesting." End quote. Josh McDonald says, quote, I think we need to define how large our society is. If we're talking about the one in your video, then I'd argue we would need a very formal society we see in first world countries. If it's only 100 people, then a direct democracy would work fine. But keeping with a large society in mind, our next question is, which society from the first world countries would we choose? Something in between capitalism and socialism with more emphasis on capitalism would probably suit us well. On the other hand, what if we programmed a computer to tell us what the perfect society would be? Would we follow what the computer says? There has been proof that if a computer teaches itself how to play a complex game with no human interaction, it can give us answers we would never have known possible. This is getting a bit more into the weeds, but let's take one step back and ask some simple questions before using such a computer. 1. Will using this computer kill me? Answer, not directly. The society from it might. 2. Can we stop this computer if we wanted to? Answer, yes. 3. Would we gain information we would have not known before using this computer? Answer, most likely if we are as objective in our parameters as we can be. End quote. Thank you for your answers. This week's question, 